Stitchy friends, my name is Beth and I am the Steadfast Stitcher and this is my floss tube channel where we talk mostly about cross stitch. Welcome, I'm so glad you're here today. If you're brand new, I do hope you'll hit like and subscribe and if you're returning, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate all of you. I have got today a finish to show you, a few whips. And a giveaway at the end. So um, make sure you stay tuned. I want a little bit of plans. And did I say haul? Yes, I have one piece of haul. <laughs> I'm going to start a new series. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but first, let me show you the finish that I did. Now, the last time that you saw it, uh, last time that I worked on it, it looked like this. And this is the Fall on the Farm series from Little House Needleworks. And I have most of them. I don't have all of them, but I do have most of them. And, oh, nope, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Where is it? Here we go. Oh, my goodness. That is definitely one of the other ones that I'm planning on doing, but I haven't started this one yet. So this is Fall on the Farm, and this is Changing Leaves. So it looks like a quilt pattern. It's really, really pretty. I just, I really like the autumnal colors on this and the little acorns. And as you can see in the photo, I really hadn't done much on it. Well, I got a bee in my bonnet, and I wanted to get it all the way done. <laughs> so this is on 18 Count Fiddler's Cloth Ada. And fortunately, I have enough room to do another piece on this as well. Another one of the fall on the farms. And so this is the finish. I love this one. It's definitely going to be either a pillow or a flat fold. I'm not going to frame it. But I really like how this came out. Um, I like the colors. And so this might be my first attempt at hand sewing a small pillow. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. I used all the called for colors. And like I said, I've got enough here on the bottom to definitely do possibly three more, but we shall see. At least one or two more on this fabric. And yeah, so I'm really happy about that. So... If you've been following my channel, um, you know, this year I kind of have a rule of I have to finish two things before I can start one new thing. So I've had one new start already because I finished two things. And so this is my third finish. And I am looking to get a fourth finish uh, before the end of April. Um, because I would really love to start on Arabesque by Jan Hicks. It was one of the national market releases. And so I'm aiming for May 1st. In fact, I posted on uh, Laura's uh, floss tube to see if maybe she wanted to start it with me on May 1st because she got Arabesque as well. And I recently purchased several beautiful blue fabrics during a Friday night fight night from Be Stitch Me. And I'm looking to possibly start it on there, um, one of the blue fabrics. And I'm looking at either like a silver or a white for arabesque. But that's not set in stone. I may change my mind between now and May 1st. But so my goal is to finish one more piece before the end of April so I can start arabesque. And I'm really excited about that. See? Avalanche. <laughs> now, the next piece that I worked on, this is like my 25-7 piece, um, which is from the group 25-7 that's by uh, Soulful Stitcher. And so I keep this at my desk to work at on my lunch break, um, but I just get 30 minutes for lunch. And so... Some days I end up working through lunch and I don't always get a chance to stitch. But I always have it there with me so that if I could, do get a chance on my lunch break, I get some stitches in. So this is not getting done fast. 
but it is getting progress, so I'm happy with that. This is the Prairie Schooler Garden Samplers, and I am doing this one here, uh, the third one over here, with a little garden house, and which is really pretty, and it says, Into your garden you can walk, and with each plant and flower talk. I just thought it was really, really pretty. I'm planning on eventually doing the birdhouse one as well. I'm not 100% sure about the veggie one, but these two definitely. So last time you saw this, um, in my last video, I had gotten most of the numbers done um, on the left side. So I added a little bit of border and I added this green block here with the flower in it. And yeah, I like this one quite a bit. And since I'm filming in daylight for a change, um, the white around the gazebo is showing up nicely on here, I think. I am doing this on Be Stitch Me 20 Count Ada Dusty Cottage. And I just think it's really pretty. And I was able to use this for a couple of the challenges that I'm doing. Um, Laura's Stitching by the Shore group on Facebook has an I Spy challenge monthly. Um, so I was able to use purple for the grapes. So that was fun. And then I also use this in my St. Patrick's um, acrostic challenge for the month of March. In, that's in my group Crafts and Books. <laughs> I wanted to mention to my group Crafts and Books, we are doing, um, we're open every day this weekend. Normally we're open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings, and then all day Saturday from like 10 a.m. till midnight. But this week we're going to do, um, we're open all day Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and into Sunday evening, and for our Easter Monday crowd in Australia and New Zealand. And we have, Natalie is helping us with our Australian and uh, New Zealand contingency. So thank you very much, Natalie, for the help. Um, right now, Mary Bridget is running the Zoom room and I'll be joining on shortly. Uh, she's been a huge help and she is also opening up the room starting next week during the morning, uh, Monday through Friday. So we'd love to have you come out, check, check out Crafts and Books, and I will link the group below. It is the best group of people. And the good thing about it is, too, is you don't have to feel obligated to cross-stitch. If you're not in the mood to cross-stitch and you want to do something else, I know a lot of us are multi-crafters. You can knit, you can crochet, you know, you're not going to get any comments or get booted out because you're doing something other than cross-stitch. Uh, which I've heard about before. So, yeah, feel free. If you want to color, you're welcome to come on and zoom and color and chat with us. All right. So, that's about crafts and books. Now, next one is I started Wings of Change Sal on the first day of spring with Dawn Enchanting Stitches. Uh, she's on floss tube and she's got a terrific uh, face, she's got a terrific floss tube channel. <laughs> uh, we started on the first day of spring and we had a Zoom for it. We had another number of people join us and I'm just seeing some terrific uh, Wings of Change Sal uh, choices for this. Wow, I can't talk today. I'm seeing a terrific number of patterns and ideas for Wings of Change. And basically, it's to stitch on anything with a butterfly, a dragonfly, or a moth uh, to celebrate spring. In fact, Renewing Stitches, she's got a lovely floss tube channel. I'll definitely go check her out. She had a neat idea where she's going to, she's got a large size hoop, and inside the hoop, she's doing all different butterflies from different that she's pulling out from different patterns. And I just think that's the coolest idea. Um, so go check out her channel if you'd like to hear more about that and see some of the other lovely projects she's working on. 
So for Wings of Change, <laughs> Dawn and I both picked the same pattern. We are both doing Spirit of the Dragonfly. It's charted by Hayde, and the artist is Carol Cav Cavalleras, who unfortunately has passed away. Um, but she still has some beautiful designs um, that are up on the Hayde website. Um, I know I've seen many times her sea turtle. Uh, being worked on and that's also a gorgeous pattern but this one has always struck me I bought it several years ago and I had gotten a teeny tiny start on it doing tent stitch and discovered this was my one of my first full coverages I discovered that I really don't care for tent stitch personally I prefer full cross so I've gone back and I'm doing full cross on this one. But look at that. The colors are just gorgeous. One of Laura's challenges uh, for I Spy this month was Stitch a Rainbow. And I'm using this for that. <laughs> a rainbow of colors. And that just struck me as being a rainbow of colors. I mean, the dragonfly, literally, it looks iridescent. The colors in here are spectacular. So I don't have a lot to show yet, but I did make progress in it. I got in about 600, 650 stitches, I believe. And so that's what it looks at right now. I am doing this on 25 count easy grid, one over one full cross. And all the full color, all the called for colors. <laughs> See, this is what happens when I don't do my floss tube on my regular day. I get all discombobulated. <laughs> but yeah, I love the colors in this. They're so, so pretty. And uh, it's a very fun stitch. I think this one's going to be gorgeous when it's finished. Not anytime soon, but. It's still going to be gorgeous when it's finished. All right. So the last one that I worked on. This is one um, that was part of my 60 starts for my 60th birthday last year. And I had, I started this with Pages 3 Stitches uh, Thanksgiving weekend of last year. And I was really trying to get to my um, 60 starts for my 60th birthday. So I didn't spend a lot of time with it. And I haven't touched it since Thanksgiving. So I was really anxious to bring this back out again. Because uh, this pattern is stunning. Pages 3 Stitches is doing a conversion on this to look like a nighttime garden. Which is going to be so gorgeous. All right, so this is Teresa Coget, Come to the Garden. And, oh, look at that. It is so beautiful. It's not a small one. <laughs> this one is 225 by 295. And it's just gorgeous. And it calls for Classic Color Works, DMC, Gentle Arts, and Weeks Dye Works. So this one says, come to the garden, thy senses shall be overjoyed. And I just, I love the little strawberries in here. And I was able to use this again for my challenge, my acrostic challenge in my group. And also in Laura's I Spy, so she had something with stripes. And so there's little stripes, and I'm sure they're supposed to be ruffles, but... I'm calling them stripes around the angel. <laughs> so that's what I used it for. Now, last time you had seen this, I just did a little bit on the top outer border. And so this is staying out because I really love this one. I know I had a pattern in my last video that I said was staying out, but... I got a bee in my bonnet about that little house needleworks one, and it didn't end up getting work on that other one. But, anyways, <laughs> so 
this is where I'm at with that. So I did a little more on the outside border. I worked some on the inside border and I started one of these flowers that are in the top left. And so, so pretty. Yeah, so it's those two flowers, um, but next to the, two large flowers next to the angel at the top. I am doing this on 25 count, lightly salted, not roasted. It was a fabric of the month from Be Stitch Me, and I really like this pattern. I was very glad to pull it back out again. I don't know why it just hit me. It's like, I need to work on this one again. <laughs> I didn't even spin. It's just like, nope, it's going to be this one. So you may see this again in two weeks. It is a joy to work on. And her printed patterns are very easy to read, I find. Um, and very easy to work with. So I really love Teresa Kogut. Now let's see. Now, oh, I know. I wanted to give a quick shout out to an under 1,000 subscriber. Um, her latest video has some absolutely stunning finishes and definitely should go check them out. Uh, her channel is Stitching in High Heels. And, oh, man, has she got some gorgeous finishes from little pillow ornaments uh, with cut work and all kinds of specialty stitches to this stunning Marilyn Levitt emblem finish that is just amazing. So do go check her out. She is stitching in high heels, and she really has a lovely floss tube channel. Now... So I have just one piece of haul, and this is from Little House Needleworks. This is Log Cabin Squirrel. This is number one in the Log Cabin Christmas series. It's a brand new series. Um, number two is out, so I am probably going to be ordering that shortly. And I really like all the designs in this one, so... I'm not starting this right away because I'm still undecided if I want to do these individually or I've seen them all together um, as one big piece and I may do that. So I just haven't made up my mind yet. But these are really, really cute. Uh, let's see if it's got the size. So it's 63 by 63. And it calls for DMC and Classic Color Works. Yeah. It's really, really cute. Sorry, let me see. Get, oh, yeah. Let's glare over here. But this is so cute. Log cabin squirrels. A little towing that wagon in front. It's so cute. So I got the flosses for that. I'm sure I have fabric and stash. I just need to decide if I'm going to do individual ones or if I'm going to do them all together as one big piece. Plans wise, um, besides I'm going to be stitching like crazy this weekend, um, since our Zoom room is open all weekend, I do plan do need to make plans, I should say, for 24 hours of cross-stitch. That is coming up in just a couple of weeks. Um, I believe it's April 17th. And then I also do Whip Frenzy along with 24 hours of cross-stitch. Our Zoom room will be open the whole weekend. We do a number of giveaways. I can't testify to how long the giveaways take to get there. <laughs> I sent out one to the UK, uh, a winner in the UK, and it took longer to get to her than it took to get to Denmark, to someone in Denmark that won. So, I have no control over the post office. I'm sorry, I wish I did, but... So, those Zoom rooms are always a lot of fun because of the giveaways. It's always a big-sized group. We have people literally from all over the world, Denmark, Finland... UK, Canada, 
um, Australia, New Zealand. It's just a great time. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I've been thinking about what I want to do for Whip Frenzy, which is, goes along with 24 hours of cross stitch. And it's stitching 1 to 200 stitches per project and then switching. So that's why it's a frenzy. So I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get closer to... I have one more video between now and uh, 24 hours of cross stitch. But I'm leaning towards... Uh, pulling out all the patterns that I have multiples of by designer. So like Rosewood Manor, I have, I want to say five whips that are Rosewood Manor. I've got three that are Teresa Kogut. I have three or four that are Owl Forest. So pulling those out and working on those are, uh, is kind of what I've been thinking of. But I'm looking forward to that and getting some more stitching done and I'm hoping mid-April that I will be able to visit the brand new hobby house in Rochester, New York or just outside of Rochester, New York at their new location. I never got to see um, their little log cabin location. Um, so I'm crossing fingers that they will be open when I'm up there in New York and then I'll be able to go visit their new store. If I do, you'll be, I'm, I will share, I promise. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be some haul too. All right, so that's all I've got for you all today, except for the giveaway. Now, like I said before, um, I had a couple issues when I did the 24 hours cross stitch of things, um, taking a huge amount of time to get there or I had one that came back where the post the envelope had looked like it had gotten run over <laughs> and the postage had been torn off the customs form had been torn off it was a mess so and it looks like because I've seen when tracking packages that are coming my way that a lot of the stall is here local and not necessarily across the pond. So I do my best. I send out everything within a week of when I do giveaways. But I can't control the post office. So I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> Alright. So my giveaway today is a really cute little pattern from Manny D. Donna. Manny D. Donna. <laughs> this is Home Harvest Home Pillow. And this is a really cute little design. You see the little pumpkin there? And, yeah. I don't know if you can see that up in there as well. And the little tree and the house is adorbed. I love it. And this isn't too big. This is 87 by 55. It's a nice size little pattern. And if you would like to you win this one, I'm going to ask that you use the word harvest. Harvest. Don't use the word giveaways. Um, you must be over 18 because I have to mail this to you. Uh, please be a subscriber. Um, so don't use any of the words that attract spammers like giveaway, prize, that kind of thing. Because of all manners of folksies <laughs> show up on the page. <laughs> That's not bueno. Oh, yeah. Home Harvest Home from Manny Didana and use the word harvest if you'd like to win this one. So that's all I've got for you today. I will be back on my regular Wednesday, so in about 12 days, <laughs> I'll be back with another video. And hopefully I get in a lot of good stitching this weekend. Got my hand braces ready so in case my wrist acts up. Uh, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> but I hope you have a wonderful weekend. If you celebrate Easter, happy Easter to you. So take care of yourselves, everybody, and take care of each other. I'll see you in a little under two weeks. Bye.